So the way we're going to program the MCDO, um, there's an order to it. It's called diff strip, and I'll type it here in the scratch pad and double P at the end. So D is for data, I is for init B, F is for flight plan, S is for secondary flight plan, R is for radio navs, I uh, four, is four, for four. init B, P is for performance, and the last P is for prog. I'm just going to turn some enunciator lights so you guys can see some of the enunciators that we have available. And also some uh, nomenclature here. This is line select key, one lima, two left, three left, four left, and then one right, one left, all the way down. So another thing here is when we push MCDO menu, you can think of these things as computers available. Um, the MCDO is just a screen. The computer behind it, uh, first one here, you see the FMGC. So if I break the screen of the MCDO, I didn't lose the FMGC. I just lost the screen, as you wish. So first of all, we're going to go FMGC under data page. You can see some sub pages under position monitor. We have where the airplane is aligned to, and under cell nav aids, you can deselect VORs that are not working or turn off the GPS. So let's say uh, Orman VOR is not working. I'll put Orman up there. All right, then we can return, and we can see that this IRSs have not uh, drifted a whole lot back to data. Under IRS monitor, I can check each one of them and their position. All right, back to data. Under GPS monitor, we can see we have nine satellites in sight and then ten on the second one. Under aircraft status, you want to check your engine, make sure your engine matches your RTOW or your, your performance on your iPad app. Here's the change code. Usually the code is ARM, but we don't mess with that. So if you see if you put ARM, you can change it, but that's just uh, maintenance that does it. And under software status, you can see what databases you have. So that's the FMS software, nav database, the airline config, options, performance database, and magnetic variation. And these are the closest airports based on what your airline wants you to see. These are equal time points. We're going to use that in the air later on. Uh, here's some, you can print flight plan, in flight, pre flight. And also on data page two, you can store the flight plan and you can create a point point. Uh, you can check on an a point, for example. I want to check Ormond Beach. Actually, that's not this page, sorry. That's over here. I want to check uh, Ormond Beach and it's going to give me all the information about it. And I actually notice that this is wrong. The FAA has not kept up with the magnetic variation of all these uh, nav aids. So, aircraft status, that's good. Database is valid. And our performance matches our paperwork. Under init, we're going to do Fort Lauderdale to Bradley Airport. There are no company routes, so it's going to say none. So we just return. Um, we don't know about an alternate yet, nor a flight number. Today is uh, Spirit 162. So we go NKS 162. And our cost standing will be 25. Our cruise altitude will be 370. And our paperwork says it's 10 degrees warmer than standard, so I'm going to put minus 47. And the tropopause is 40, 45,500. And you can see the default is 36090. That page is ready. Uh, anything that's blue, uh, you can modify. Cost setting is 25, not 255. All right, so right now we need an ATIS. So the way to get an ATIS was go to McDo, ATSU, AOC menu. 
and first thing, make sure your flight and it matches and your date matches. If the date is not matched, you push a request UTC update. So those are correct. So we're going to get an aid as departing here at Fort Lauderdale. And we can also plan ahead already and get the Bradley arrival. And this will print automatically. I'll go back through the acres later. Uh, it's kind of early, but I can leave the PDC ready. I want to get, get golf too. Make sure you check the aircraft type, but sometimes it's not correct. And here's our weather information Yankee. So I put Yankee over here. Now I can go back to flight plan. So data is the D in it. A, and this is A, and if I go to the right, this is an a, B. So under flight plan, I'm going to do a lateral revision over Fort Lauderdale. Our ATIS says they're departing 28 right, 28 left. Since we're going towards the north, it's probably 28 right. Our departure is probably going to be Zappa 4. And there's a temporary revision. I'm going to insert it. I'm checking the waypoints, distances, and tracks against my SID chart. And they all match. After Zeppa, we go to P-E-R-M-T. Right, from there, we intercept an airway. So to do airways, you go on top of the waypoint, airways, and it's AR-16. And it goes to ILM. We look at the ND, make sure it matches, and it does. And always you're checking your track and distance from point to point. And then from there we go to camper. And then from camper to SBY. Another way to put a waypoint, you can lateral revision the point. And you can actually do it this way. It's a little bit longer, but... SBY, and we rejoin an airway, so lateral revision over SBY, airways J79, and that goes to VILS, insert it, same thing, looking for discontinuities, and then from VILS we join the arrival at Bradley, and here's our ATAS for Bradley. And you can see they're advertising ILS approach 24 and 33. So we're going to put uh, 24. The star is DPK 3. And transition is also DPK. And then we can start going back and say, hey, there's a discontinuity. You don't always have to take the discontinuities away. You're better off leaving them in there. Oh, and there's the discontinuity here. I take that away. And once more we check all the tracks and distances. And if we have an alternate, we don't. But the alternate would be down here. So there's none. So second thing you want to do is a vertical revision to get your winds. So I'm going to request the winds from ACARS. So on a climb mount, I want to know what the winds are at 10,000. Then at 20,000. And then it's at 25,000. And then at 300. I can get even one more. So I'll do 350. So I'm just take, requesting slices of the atmosphere from ACARS. So this is the climb phase. Cruise phase, I'm going to request starting at 320. 340. Oh, type too fast. 340. There you go. And then 360. And 380. And during my descent. I'll leave that to do it in flight, but here I'm requesting those winds from ACARS, and it's going to retrieve from the server. Alright, now I'm done with F. I'm going to copy the primary, 
I'm going to do a lateral revision on the first waypoint, which is the airport. And I'm going to say I want to come back. And I want to come back to the longest runway, which would be 28 right. And no approach vias. So then I can take a look. So I'm taking off, then going Jumar, landing it back. And I can put my performance. I can put my environmentals, which is the same ones we have for the partridge. So 29 or 9 or 7. Temperature is 32 degrees. And winds are 240 at 7. And I'll look at my minimums for the approach coming back. Make sure there are no notums. So to a right. Hey, hello. 257. So secondary is ready. Uh, radio navs is next. Uh, I'll put the go around in case we need to go around for Lauderdale 305. And sometimes we can put the flight number on NDB as a reminder. But 162 is out of range, it's too low. So we're going to put the zero fuel weight predicted, 123.4, and we don't know the CG, so we just put 30 for now. And our block fuel, it's predicted to be 19.1. Let's see if those winds came back. Yep, the winds came back, so everything I requested came back. I'm going to insert it. Our next phase cruise, I'm going to insert it as well and insert the descent. So when I go to NIP B, all these numbers are going to be a lot more accurate. So we're going to use 400 for taxi. 13.3 in 2 hours and 33 minutes, so 13,300 pounds. And our takeoff weight, 142.1, our landing weight, 128.7, so that's all below max. And we got 23 minutes of extra time. Now we go to P. Uh, Airbus says you should fill this out with your predicted weight, um, the weight that you're going to have for takeoff, and then do it once more, once you have your final numbers. And under prong, you can put the airport you're returning to. So Fort Lauderdale, we're going to return to 28 right, and your GPS primary is high, and that's how you program the FMS.